Is the Google Data Analytics Certificate really worth it? It's a good question. I can understand why many of you are asking this. After all, it's a quite a big time and financial commitment to many of us. I don't think there's a simple yes or no answer to this, but from my five year working experience in the data science field, in this video, I'm going to share with you my thoughts on the pros and cons of this certificate and my extra recommendations to help you make the best out of it. Based on the pros and cons, we'll talk about what are the good reasons and what are the not so good reasons to get this certificate. Because if we have the wrong why, it will be very hard to stick with it until the end and you'll be more likely to give up when you see that this is not something you are hoping for. Now firstly, we're going to talk about the advantages of this certificate and later we will discuss the limitations of it as well. One of the nice things about this certificate is that it covers all the fundamentals of data cleaning, data analysis and data visualization, which are the day-to-day -day responsibilities of a data analyst. It also introduces you to important tools such as spreadsheets, SQL, R programming, and Tableau, which are really widely used tools across different industries. Documentation with R Markdown is also included, which I think is really, really important skill to have. At my work, we use R Markdown very often whenever we want to show our work to clients and to document what we have done for our own references later on. It's also nice that this program dedicates a whole course on asking questions and presenting findings for decision making. These are really essential skills for anyone working with data, like understanding and translating a business problem into the metrics and the hypothesis and the analysis that can be done with data. There's also a capstone project at the end of the program to help you put everything together to work on a real data analysis case. Some people criticized that this program is teaching R instead of Python, because Python is considered to be more widely used and supports machine learning and general industry purposes better than R. However, I don't think this is a negative point at all, because when it comes to data analysis and statistics, R is literally the best language to use. Okay, I'm a big fan of R, so this is probably a little bit biased and I'm over enthusiastic about it. But I really think you can't go wrong with R and you can always pick up Python very easily later if you know R very well already. Overall, this certificate is a very good guideline to help you organize your own learning curriculum. And if there's anything you want to dive into later on, you can always find more advanced courses to complement this program. Honestly, I wish this certificate existed when I started out five years ago after I graduated from university. Back then, I had no idea what needed to be learned or what kind of tooling or knowledge I needed to acquire. I did some basic R when searching for jobs, but that is about it. Beside many good things about this certificate, I think it's also important to be aware of the limitations as well. I think one of the things that's quite misleading is that it claims to help you become job ready. Of course, it's partly true because it's helping you learn the fundamental skills, but I think it will be very dangerous to rely on it to get a data analyst job. If I'm hiring for a data analyst, I think portfolio and demonstrable experience are far more important than certificates. If you are taking this data analytics certificate, learn as much as you can, but treat it as a complementary element to strengthen your resume rather than your main selling point. It's also because when there are more and more people who are getting this certificate, it's not something to distinguish yourself anymore and employers are going to have to consider other things as well. The second shortcoming of this certificate is that it doesn't cover any statistics as far as I can see in the course curriculum. I think it's a very good idea to calculate the 90th percentile of the product sales across our stores. What do you think? Oh, sorry, could you say that again, please? If you are taking this program, I'd highly recommend you to look for extra resources to cover the basic math and statistics. Since R is chosen as the main programming language in this program, I think it will pair very well with the book Introductory Statistics with R, which is a classic book available for free. Link in the description. The first few chapters of this book cover the basics of R programming and R environment. The following chapters focus on probability and distributions, as well as the descriptive statistics and graphics, which are really important. You're going to use these concepts a lot in practice. You might also use regression and hypothesis testing sometimes, so it's good to have a grasp of it as well. 
But I want you to pay close attention to chapter 10 about advanced leader handling and transformation. They are really the techniques that you're going to use intensively day in, day out in your work as a data analyst. I will probably make another video about the necessary math and statistics for data analysis. So let me know in the comment below if you're interested in it. Another thought I have on this certificate is that this program seems quite basic for someone who might already know Excel very well or is already familiar with our programming or dashboarding in Tableau. So I think it's indeed more geared towards a junior data analyst position. If you feel that you already know some basics of working with data and are aiming for a data analyst position, I personally think it's better to identify the specific skills or tooling that you want to advance on and take the specific courses that you can find on Coursera, Udacity, or DataCam rather than spending six months getting this certificate. Based on all these pros and cons, we can think about what are the good reasons to get this certificate and the not so good reasons to do so. Getting this certificate is definitely worth it if you want to get an overview of the fundamentals that you need to get started in a data analyst career or to learn the hands-on analytical skills using tooling like R, Excel, SQL, and Tableau. Getting this certificate is also worth it if you want to add an extra capstone project into your current GitHub portfolio or if you want to strengthen your resume by showing employers that you've put the extra effort in getting the credential and seriously learning the skills. However, it's not a very good idea in my opinion to get this certificate if you want to get a job solely based on this certificate or to replace the need for having a portfolio or the need for having the practical experience like an internship or a project. The last point is very important and is worth emphasizing because if I were to hire for a data analyst, I would personally choose someone who's completed a data analyst internship or a volunteer project and has used tools like R, SQL, and Tableau in her own work over someone who only has a certificate and no demonstrable experience. This is because knowing and doing are two different levels. And if you had an internship or contributed to a project and you think you did a good job, you could also ask your supervisor or your colleague to write you a reference letter, which could be a very big factor to the success of your job searching process. Meanwhile, you almost certainly don't have this networking opportunity when you only do an online certificate. So I hope this video helps you gain more clarity on the advantages and the disadvantages of getting the Google Data Analytics Certificate and how to make the best of it. I'm curious what you think about the certificate and if you're going to get one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.